that we can go about our lives and 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 and, and form connections again and and have experiences together again there's this a sense of togetherness is, is what i'm trying to get at um but it's hard isn't it it's uh it's hard to know what lies ahead i would like to go dancing with a, a, a lot of friends um just really simple sort of life stuff i'm hoping that this whole experience will um like propel us into like the roaring 20s and make us really appreciate like life and going out and having fun like I certainly won't um, because I used to be like oh I'll just stay in this weekend (laughs) and now I'm like why did I do that so I'm going to really hopefully enjoy like going out going dancing and seeing my friends and hugging my family so hopefully it will just mean that the rest of the 20s are going to be absolutely amazing. (laughs) My optimism is also not just for the United States, but for everywhere, just be, exactly because of the fact that we're not only thinking about mortality, we're thinking about older people in a different way. We're, I think that more people are realizing the importance of open and honest communication more than ever in most quarters. And I think those are positive things. That gives me hope for the future, for 2021, that we can that we can overcome just about anything if we make an earnest effort to communicate and to try to, even if we have big differences with other people, if we can find a way to just listen and communicate and just try, even if there's no guarantee that it'll happen with every single person that you might disagree with, try to find some point of contact, just see what happens. My hopes are for 2021 that Liza's IBS continues to settle itself and JK. Um, It's really that we can come together and continue to heal. Our country will continue to heal, begin healing and um, uh, really just keep focusing on so much of what the focus has been for this year, which is more equality and more equity and more human dignity to more people and more access. And that's all the things that I really want to focus on and, um, you know, try to not end up going from queer eye onto cat hoarders. Cause I honestly, I just want to adopt 50 million cats. I don't know what my problem is. Uh, I, I certainly, I certainly wish and hope that um, there is an end to this and that we start working towards some, um, you know, semblance and some um, idea of normalcy, you know, that it starts to, to, to return and people are given respite from, from this situation because it's, uh, it's been challenging for really the entire world and it's been, it's been a taxing year. And um, so I, I hope and pray that, you know, as, as a, a world, as a people, we are, uh, you know, in a better place, hopefully in the next few months. Um, and then, you know, for myself, I, I guess I would say, I just do more work. I mean, and pro- hopefully do good work and, and, and be able to do all of it justice because I, I see a much, uh, much more busy and packed here than I've had the 